Nova went out of his house and started strolling around. He was feeling very strange, as if something big was going to happen. He didn't know it was God who wanted him outside to say something to him. Oh, what is this? Noah? God, is that you? Yes, Noah, it is. Please listen to the important things that I have to say to you. Noah, people do not love one another as they should. So I have decided to wash the earth with a flood and start over. This is terrible news. Don't do this, God. Don't be afraid, Noah. I'm telling you this because you are the only man who has still me in his heart. I have chosen you and your family to help me start over. Listen carefully. I want you to build a boat, Noah. An ark. After building this, you will take your wife, your sons and their wives. And you will take with you a male and female of every kind of animal on earth. And birds too. I'm going to make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights to destroy every living being that I have made. So much to do and so little time. I must wake my sons and ask them to help me. Wake up, wake up my son. I have a very important thing to tell you. Oh, what is it, father? Come to the dinner table quickly. I will tell you there. This is what the God commanded me to do. But Noah, did you think our neighbors will make fun of us? Those people in the city will also make fun of us when they find out. But father, this is impossible. None of us know how to build an ark, not even you. Don't worry. God has taught me how to do it. I will help you, Father. Ah. Yes, if God wanted you to build an ark, then we all will stand with you. Thank you, dear. Yes, I'm serious. We are building an ark. A big, big ark. <laughs> It's okay. Go ahead and laugh. You will see. This field is big enough. This is where we are going to build the ark. like God asked me. The arc should be 450 feet long, 75 feet across and 45 feet high. Seal the planks with tar. And inside, there should be an upper, middle, and a lower deck. Make an opening all around the ark, just below the upper deck. And last, put a door on the side, big enough for the largest animals on earth to walk through. And next, bring two of every animal on earth with you.
We have finished. We have done well, my sons. There is this old man who is building an ark on an open field. I too want to see this man who says a flood is coming. Are you that crazy old fool? My father is no fool. Oh, is it? You must be his son. <laughs> Now let's take a good look at the petty boat you have made. Only a fool would build a boat in the middle of a field. Wow! Did you did you build this? You really are an old and crazy fool. Who would do something like this? <laughs> you must listen to what I say. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, is that so? You are so dumb. Let's get out of here. So much to do and so little time. Don't worry, father. They will cry one day for laughing at us. If only they were wiser. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering how we're going to get the animals into the boat. We need to figure out a way. Father, father, look over there. It's a miracle. And it was a miracle. God had brought one pair of every animal and bird on earth to the ark. Tigers, lions, elephants, giraffe, zebras. That's it. Everybody is here. Look, dear. I think it's going to rain now. Suddenly, the clouds began to gather and cold winds began to blow. Everybody inside. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. All clear here? Fine. I'll close the door. And as God said, it started raining heavily. Noah, I'm afraid. Don't worry, dear. God will protect us all. Ha <laughs> ha! See, didn't I tell you so? We did it. We did it. Ah. Oh. Thank you Lord. He waited and waited and waited, but it never stopped raining. The rain covered the whole earth. It even covered the highest of the mountains. Then after 40 days and 40 nights it stopped raining. It has stopped. The rain has stopped. Everybody listen. The rain has stopped. What? That's wonderful. Hey, hey. This is too good to be true. When do we get off? Oh dear. We will get off as soon as the water dries. and we find land What do you see dear? What did you see? Uh nothing but the sea dear. Don't worry mother. Hmm 
Now that's my son. But father, how will we know if there is dry land out there? Hmm. That's a good point. Hey, I have an idea. He went and bought a raven and took him to the slit in the ark. Then he let him go. No one knew that if raven found land, he will bring something back with him. Noah then waited for a long time for the raven to come back. But when the raven returned, he didn't bring anything back with him. The next day, Noah decided to try again with the dough. Come back with the good news. But the dough too came back with nothing. Noah never lost his hope as he knew God would never abandon them. After a few days, Noah let the dough go again in the hope of finding land. And this time, the dove did not come back empty-handed. It carried a branch from the olive tree. Father, this is wonderful news. There must be dry land somewhere close. Yes, son. We must be close to the dry land now. And soon enough, the ark landed on top of a very tall mountain. When it was safe enough, God told Noah to come out. Noah, you and your family and the animals can come out now. The earth is dry. Go out into the world and have many children and tell them about me. And so you know that I won't ever flood the world again. I'm going to leave a gift in the sky after it rains. This will remind you of my promise. And so Nova and his family thanked God for everything he had done for them. Noah's children had many, many more good and strong children and they loved God very much.